Hello YouTube! My name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and I wanted to talk to everyone today about why I believe to be the best gun here in Advanced Warfare. That gun, ladies and gentlemen, is the IMR to me. This rifle is ridiculously powerful. I love this gun. It reminds me a lot of the G11 from Black Ops and the M8A1 from Black Ops 2. If you guys will know about this weapon, it's a four-round burst rifle that has relatively no recoil whatsoever, a pretty good fire rate, and it can one-burst people up to a pretty good range. It's very powerful. It's your classic classic burst weapon that takes people out of the distance and can just tear people apart. The gameplay you guys are watching here is from when I had the game early, so I'm facing some pretty stiff competition. The people I'm going up against are either pro players or YouTubers, and this gun just melts people. I saw a lot of people using it quite a bit after they unlocked it. It's one of those guns you kind of have to wait a little bit to unlock, but once you do get it, it is so ridiculously powerful. This gun can just tear people apart. Let's actually go ahead into the firing range. I want to show you guys just a few things that make this gun ridiculously powerful and why I believe it to be the best weapon in advanced warfare so far. So here we are in the testing range. One of the coolest additions of Call of Duty, in my opinion, was adding this testing range here, giving us something to do, finally, in between matches, besides just look at our career classes, you know? It gives us something to do while we're waiting for the lobby to fill. It gives us something to do in between matches, and we can actually can test out our guns to see how strong they are. We have a little laptop screen here that'll tell us our accuracy and how well we're doing in this particular firing range. I think it's pretty cool. Let's start talking about the IMR here. I'm using a basic stock one. I'm not using an elite. I'm not using a professional. I'm not using anything that I actually got out of a supply drop I'm just using your base IMR the attachments I'm using are suppressor quick draw grip and adjustable stock those are just my preferred attachments I like to have a kind of a rush heavy play style when I'm using the IMR because it's a very powerful weapon that I use pretty similar to the M8A1 from Black Ops 2 which I like to move around with this gun's very powerful at long ranges if you guys want to sit back with this gun it definitely works out well maybe swap out these attachments for like a, a grip and a red dot sight attachments are completely up to you but the point of this is just to show you the raw power of the gun as well as some really cool things that it can do. So let's walk up here to the testing range and start shooting at some targets and see what we can do. We would see we're gonna take one burst to kill that. We're gonna take two bursts to kill him. We're gonna take two bursts to kill him. Let's see if we can get another one burst. Another one burst right there. We're gonna take two bursts on that guy. We're gonna take one burst on that guy. It's a very, very, very powerful rifle. As you can see, we have a 36 round magazine by default and we consume four ammo per shot. And the cool thing about it is like, look at this fire rate. It shoots so ridiculously fast. It has such ridiculously high damage. And it reloads so quickly, and it just doesn't kick at all. It's very powerful, but that's not even the most unique thing about this rifle, because it actually prints its own ammo. So pay attention down there in the bottom right. I have 76 bullets, now I have 80 bullets as reserve ammo. Let's wait a little bit more, and we're actually going to be jumping up to 84. This gun prints its own ammo. It does not run out of ammo. I'm just going to start spamming the trigger here, and reloading constantly. I'm just going to see how low I can get my reserve ammo to be, and it's just going to continue to come back. Occasionally, it will just randomly give you like a hundred rounds it seems like it makes no sense but not only is this gun so powerful but look at that i now have 144 reserve ammo in this gun all i did was aimlessly shoot it and then reload and then the ammo just kind of comes back to it the gun itself does not run out of ammo it's very powerful has an amazing fire rate does not kick at all and because of all these reasons i believe it to be the best gun here in advanced warfare so far now of course it's not going to cater to all play styles if you're you know running into b flag in a highly contested area and stuff you're probably going to die because this is an assault rifle and you can lose to things like submachine guns and shotguns close range. But just an overall versatility, I would say that the IMR here is the best gun within Advanced Warfare. So that is my opinion. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. Of course, let me know in the comments exactly what your opinions are towards the best weapon here in Advanced Warfare. I've given a bunch of reasons here as to why I believe the IMR currently, at the time of this video going up, is the best weapon in Advanced Warfare, the most overpowered gun and just so ridiculously easy to use. Those are all the reasons I've given you guys. So give me some good valid reasons in the comments to back up your claim as to which weapon you guys believe to be the best gun in Advanced Warfare so far. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. And of course, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here if you are new because I post daily Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content here. And you might like some more videos like this. If you like this video, chances are you like my other ones. Be sure to click subscribe if you guys are new. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all... Have a wonderful day.